will see how we can work with the PGP uh, encryption and decryption. The most common scenario when we come across this uh, uh, PGP encryption is uh, PGP encryption is uh, like uh, uh, if you are uh, if you are directly dropping a file to if you are directly giving or sharing a file to some some of the client. So they they'll we can able to see the what content the file has it. So but if you can encrypt that the file content so some uh, base 64 characters so nobody can able to read the file so for uh, because of the sec uh, the security of the data data security the clients always prefer to uh, encrypt the data before the transferring it to a to internet space channel most of the things when you are connecting or when you are uh, uh, sending a file to the client maybe in the common channels let's say web services uh, through web we will be sending it through http protocol or it might be SFTP server. So if you are trying to dumping a file on SFTP server, it means the file, the, the file data, it is being transferring to internet space channel. There might be a possibility of the hackers, they can see the sensitive data. So we uh, to make sure that nobody can understand the sensitive data, we always use the encryption. That's what the PGP encryption we have. One of the common, uh, one of the uh, most widely used software is the PGP. PGP stands for Pretty good privacy here. You can just uh, see here PGP. You can see pretty good privacy. Uh, this is actually uh, we have some of the open source also. There is a semantic one, so it works very good. Uh, this one is a command licensing tool will be there. But this PGP, uh, we'll see first. Uh, why do we need to go for this P, uh, PGP and how? what was the conventional technologies and now the what was the latest technology. See earlier the conventional technologies is the uh, whenever, whenever you want to do encryption or any uh, the decryption right what you can do you will uh, have a, some plain file you have a, some plain file the plain file will be converted into an encrypted but there, there should be a, some key for encryption in the olden days what they will do they will give some kind of a pattern maybe they just uh, up in New York for a character, every character they are appending three characters or five characters, something that can, if uh, are some kind of a code, some say, some secret code. But one thing is, if anybody knows the secret code, everybody can able to decrypt the file. But this is not much secure. So that's the reason they have come across this one so uh, slowly. This was the not much secure. This uh, conventional uh, conventional uh, uh, secret codes and all this. But then the next generation was entire thing you were moving to certificates. Certificates in the sense you will be having certificate in the sense you will be having a uh, two kind of a certificate. One is a public certificate and other one is a private certificate. One second. So you will be having a two type of certificate. One is called public certificate. Another one is private certificate. So the certificate, we have, when I say certificate or key, both will be referring to the same. And you can see one of the certificate is a component for uh, in Boomi. You can see that in the create a, go for create a component. You can just select that type of a component we are going to create and you can see the certificate and we can see two type of a certificates here. So the, four, the, work, the 509, this is basically a transport level security. Like if you wanted to make your HTTP to HTTP, yes, then you can, you'll be, you, you'll be using the X509 certificates. But if you wanted to do the encryption on a data level, then we'll use the PGP uh, encryption. The most common scenario is the more, when we use the PGP in this, uh, the one common scenario, let's say you wanted to extract some employee information from the employee central and then transform the data into a flat file and then convert the data into PGP and then upload it to the server, SFTP server. So this is a basically the common scenario. So let's first I will be uh, showing how to create the certificates and how we can export a certificate and how we can uh, import a certificate and how we can use these certificates for encryption and decryption. So these are all uh, for, uh, items we can see here.
Okay, see. So the what exactly the advantage of the, using certificates? The certificates is oh, even the certificate also there will be a key will be generating that key will be used for encryption and decryption. But the thing is here the key is not static. Key is not a static. The key is dynamic key. So dynamic key. The public certificate will be used. Public certificate only whenever you wanted to an encryption. See, as a name suggests, uh, each and every whenever you wanted to do an encryption and uh, decryption, you always have a pair of certificate. The pair of certificate you can say have the public certificate as well as a private certificate. So if you don't have a certificate, even in Dell Google, we can generate a certificate also. Even we can generate a certificate also. So by default, when you are generating a certificate, the pair of certificate will be generated. So the, as the name suggests, public and then private. It means public certificate in the sense, you can give the certificate to all of your clients. Let's say you are an Apple client and you wanted to uh, you want it to uh, your uh, Dell Boomi vendor to be uploaded a file on your server. So let's say you are, and you are, you are telling the Dell Boomi to yeah, encrypt the file and then upload it to my server. But during this encryption, Dell Boomi developer needs a certificate to configure the encryption. Because if uh, uh, when you are encrypting, there should be only one guy who have the private certificate can able to decrypt the certificate content. So this commonly we have a plain file, plain file will be converted into the uh, encryption and then once we have the encryption, uh, if you have a decryption uh, private certificate, then you can take the encrypted file and then you can convert it back to the plain file. But if you are using a different, uh, if you are using a different key pair, you cannot able to, uh, like one guy cannot able to encrypt, another guy cannot able to decrypt it. So that's the reason you have to, if you wanted to uh, encrypt and decryption now to use the right key pair. So when you, when you are, when you, by default when you generate the key pair will be generated, the key pair will be public key and private key. Even it is not exactly like even both public key and private key should be available in separate files. It can be there in a single file or it can be there in a separate files. So let's see, so if you want to generate a key pair, Let's say you you have forgot you misplaced your public key. You are not sure what which is the exact key or public key. So in that case, how we can uh, extract the public key? So if you have a private key, have a private certificate, then you can export a public certificate from the private certificate. You can and you can give the public certificate to your clients. So always public certificate you can give it to a number of all your clients. Means public certificate can be shared to club public all of the clients but of if they have a public certificate what they can do they can do only the encryption they can do only encryption the public certificate they can only do the encryption but all your n number of clients can do the encryption but only one guy can do the decryption that is only have the private certificate so that's the reason as the name suggests private certificate it means you are not supposed to share your certificate to anybody else. If you are sharing your certificate means you are completely uh, uh, giving your uh, freedom, freedom to hack all of your data to or privacy data to the uh, other uh, another third party one. So that's the uh, uh, concepts of the public certificate and private certificate. So as a name public you can give all your certificates to public and then the name private you have to keep it your public private certificate with you. And you, you know, like let's say I have another X public certificate. I have encrypted my file, but uh, the the client, the, the vendor, the vendor want to decrypt a certificate, decrypt the file. In that case, if he is not having the private certificate corresponding to the X public certificate, he cannot able to decrypt it. And even I can encrypt a file using X, Y, Z, any any public certificate. I can able to encrypt it, but only. Decryption can be done with the corresponding to the public certificate corresponding to the public certificate. So how basically we can identify public certificate and private certificate will be belongs to the same key pair, same uh, same ones uh, one pair. So there is a one ID, uh, uh, ID called fingerprint.
this fingerprint basically it uh, it this fingerprint will be same for both key pair okay now we in this one let's see how we can generate a public certificate and private certificate let's go back to here select the folder where you want to keep your certificates and then select the pgp and then give the boomi i'm just giving sample certificate boomi sample okay this is the certificate name i'm giving click on create so you can see that by default you are just trying to create a component called certificate uh, the certificate was not available so you can generate a certificate let's see how we can generate a certificate and when is the scenario when we need to go for import a certificate first let's see the generating the certificate you can't generate a certificate so when you are generating a certificate you just need to give an identity or the common practice in the identity is or you need to give your vendor name to which vendor uh, what is the vendor who is uh, trying to generate a key pair always let's say if you wanted to generate a certificate Dell Boom is a certificate he is a vendor he is trying to generate a certificate and because you will be having a multiple number of certificates as part of your uh, uh, project work you may have the n, n number of certificates will be there but how do you identify n number of certificates so based on the identity you can identify the n number of certificates but uh, the identity would be the vendor name or client name will be provided here and then passphrase why do we need this passphrase this is similar to the what we can uh, uh, have a pass similar to the password but this is a passphrase as i told you that if you don't have a public key so if you don't have a pub, from, oh, sorry public certificate as i told you you can export this public certificate from a private certificate this is only will be uh, possible if you have the passphrase so this passphrase will be setting initially while generating a certificate will be setting the passphrase and you have to remember this passphrase this passphrase will be used in later cases so these are the uh, like cryptography technologies this algorithm technologies you always select the latest one is the rsa and you will be selecting the uh, more bit length that will be have the more secure and then you can view the uh, let's say small everything del boomi okay this is the certificate i am going to generate it here as soon as i am clicking on finish i would be able to generate uh, some metadata about this one so you can see that what uh, each and every certificate you created each and every certificate you created whatever it doesn't matter if you are giving a user id as a unique key or not even though if you are giving a user id as a duplicate names for different vendors still there will be a one unique key id that will be generated by the uh, pgp software uh, that, that id called we can call it as a key id so this is a key using this key id also we can able to identify so we uh, because of dell boomi was in, uh, given everything as an embedded uh, ideally the uh, pgp is a software uh, that can be used as a command line utility using some uh, Dell Boomi or any other integration tools we can uh, uh, use this uh, command line utilities to uh, to generate it. and the command line utility basically will generate the generating a certificate or creating a certificate or importing every this is a kind of a uh, PGP software this standalone installable one we can install it on but the Boomi have, what they given is they have embedded into the uh, Boomi integration platform Dell Boomi platform so if you don't have this one uh, the ideal thing is you will be installing a uh, Dell Boomi uh, in, sorry you will be installing a PGP semantic product uh, PGP software and then you will generate command login command prompt access will be there even you can use the GUI because we cannot use the GUI for the integration process whenever you wanted to do encryption and decryption in runtime so always we will go with the command line option because we do have the option from Boomi we can execute some of the windows commands what is that windows command we can execute this is the statement what we can or will use is this one so program command line as i told you the program command line can be used to execute some of the commands at os level also to perform some db level operations so in other integration tool what we can do similar kind of a thing there is some uh, uh, particular activity that can able to perform some uh, command line options so using this command line what we can do 
you we will execute uh, the encryption and decryption so but everything was embedded in boomi even if you wanted to do an encryption the first thing what you need to specify you need to specify the along with the certificate along with the certificate the unit to you need to specify the vendor name to which vendor you wanted to encrypt the file based on this vendor name it automatically it pull out the certificate the how this certificate will be identified because you will be having a your pgp server will be having n number of certificates because you will be having n number of clients n number of clients will be having a, let's say you have so many interfaces and each and every interfaces have the you need to do encryption so each interface will be solve a uh, file transfer for the different different clients so you will be having a n number of certificates will be imported in your pgp server but when you are doing a encryption when you are doing an encryption how you can be able to identify which is the certificate for which vendor i need to use the encryption so that the thing will be identified based on the user id sometimes user id can be a duplicate that in that case will use a key id but here we don't need all these things we have everything in place here okay even if you wanted to even if you wanted to decrypt it you wanted to decrypt it what exactly you need is you need the passphrase that we entered here so since we everything was embedded in boomi you know need to enter the user del boomi or user id or key id because we directly browsing the certificates here public certificate and private certificate whenever we are going for encryption and decryption instead of you selecting the certificates based on the key id based on the user id or uh, the passphrase you will automatically specifying all this information directly through the certificates here in boomi okay let's click on save here let's click on save here let's see what are the options we have see we have an option called type it means this, this particular type will be specify whether this is a, a, a private certificate or a public certificate as i told you we have two type of certificates will be there the type will, uh, will give us the information and say private type or public and then you can by default you can specify the validity also uh, uh, this uh, the certificate will be valid until this market and i told you the one more uh, the id the fingerprint id will be used to correlate across a certificate key pairs this is a fingerprint id this is kind of a hexadecimal code using this hexadecimal code you this public certificate and private certificate will be having same okay let's click on save you can see that this public certificate was generated over here it is organized basic uh, automatically based on the component type under that you can see the boomi underscore sample okay we'll just see we'll just see some of the uh, we'll just try to use this certificate and then we can see other options like uh, how we can import and export all these things first we'll see the certificates over here let's take one uh, any one of the our example process uh one well, i think we can use a we can use a query information process let's see uh let me show you how you can copy a process click on the down arrow whatever the component you wanted to copy the, the this process will be same click on copy and then if there might be a situation where you wanted to duplicate all your components when i say component inside your process you will be having different components will be there let's say components will be a uh, map and then some uh, connector connect and the connector have the again components called connection operation and then you'll be having some profiles like each and everything will be uh, if you wanted to make a duplicate of all this one you wanted to copy including the components then you need to click on here or if you don't want to duplicate all the components only you wanted to duplicate the specific component you just uncheck it and then you can keep it here so i wanted to copy only the process i don't want to copy the uh, the process dependence the process the component dependence i don't want to copy here you can see here now how do you uh, confirm that both the components are referring same because i did not made any changes i was just copy paste the process 
I did not copy. I did not copy the all the deponent. It means the 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 one the new newly created component process. It refers to the existing one, whatever the original process was referring. Let me open both the process. Let me see whether this is the component was referring the same process or not, same map or not. This is the original process. Let's click on this one and even go back to the duplicate process. Let's click on the same map. If both are referring same, it will it will not open another one. And this is the one way how you can see that both or how what is the component was referring. And one more thing, how you can uh, verify this one is click on this one and even click on see the folder. In which folder it will be there? The folder navigation will be completely shown here. So this is the way how we can copy the process. Now let's uh, let's view this one as a PGP. So let me delete all of the things here. I can keep one of the process. Let me clean all the activities. This is a simple process. We just paste the data from a database and then it query and then it will drop a file to an SFTP server. Okay, let's see that. Now what we wanted to do is we wanted to encrypt a file. Encrypt this data. What was the data it was coming before encryption? The database format, the database profile format has been converted into an XML here. So we'll be receiving an XML document over here. So I wanted to convert the XML to a PGP. I wanted to encrypt the PGP. So if you wanted to do the encryption, what is the step that can help us is we have the data process. See the data process is generated. You can use the data process for several actions. Depends on the type of the component, the step selected here, it can do the operations. Now we wanted to go for the encryption, PGP encryption. Now let's try to select the encryption. This is sign in nothing but it's a basically kind of a uh, uh, certificate based uh, authentication. Whether it's a proper username or uh, host name everything will be there and we don't uh, mostly use this one. We'll select the encrypt and then it will be selecting encryption here. So since we have the one certificate only one certificate has a private certificate as well as a public certificate. Basically, as I told you in the encryption, while we encryption, what are the certificate will be used? Public certificate. But then why we were uh, selecting, why it was the, this private certificate was available as I showed you here, this certificate is a private certificate. Even the private certificate is showing private certificate, but even this is certificate key paid, even it will be having a, and a public certificate as well as a private certificate. You can see this one. If you don't have this public certificate, it won't have this option of expert public certificate. And this is a private key. It means that's the reason uh, this, this is the file. It has a both uh, private key and public key. That is the reason it is automatically showing it. When you select the encrypt, it automatically filters the certificate based on the public key, based on the public certificate. If any private certificates are there, it will be filtered out. Okay, I'll show you those things again. Okay? Okay, let's uh, select the certificate and then just give some label. So once the certificate, what is the file name that you basically wanted to generate is you one uh, see let's say when you are generating an XML file or uh, when you're generating an XML file, you will be given an will be giving an extension called will be giving an extension called as a dot xml but after you encrypt it what is the common uh, practice giving an extension called dot xml dot pgp after an extension you just give an uh, extension called pgp okay let's see here i wanted to give one more thing as dot pgp so this is a common practice leaving it 
extension would be .pgp always. And don't remove the XML, but whenever you uh, decrypting a back, your uh, original XML file will be there. So only that .pgp will be removed. While encryption will be adding .pgp and while decryption will just remove the .pgp. So that in that case your uh, original file name will not be modified. So let's see here. Let's run this process. You can say Let's see whether the database is running or not meanwhile. Okay, I think we might have removed the entries from the database. Let's uh, load the data to the database. Let's run this process. So this process basically it will uh, load the data to a database. You can see this. This is uh, this process. Uh, this process we already um, see seen here earlier in the earlier process. And now, um, now let me run the whole process one second. By this time, the the process already inserted some uh, four or six records into database. Then uh, now I would be able to query that information here. Okay, you can see that information was uh, fetched from DB here. Now it will show you the execution a bit slow, depends on the, the internet or something. Then you can see this, this file information was generated over here. Let's see in which folder the file was generated here. Let's see the file. You can see, let's see how the PGP file looks like. You can see this is how the PGP data looks like. What is the actual content here is actual content was an XML file. Let's see the process execution here. See we were receiving an XML file here. We actually got a database profile format here. Database profile format here. And because of this map step, the data has been converted into an XML profile here. Yes, we do have an XML file. This XML file, because of this data process step, it has converted to a PGP encryption. We have specified a step called processing step called PGP encryption. This has been converted into a PGP encryption. Let's see the data, how it looks like here. You can see that the data has been converted into an XML. It's nothing but a plain file. A plain file is converted into an XML file. Okay. Then the same file has been written over here. Even you can see what was the file name that was dynamically used here. We the comma was put here. It should be dot. This is how we'll use the encryption here. So, but in real time, who will give us this public certificate? Your client will be giving you the public certificate. You need to when they say they wanted to send an encrypted file. When they say they wanted to send an encrypted file, it means you need to ask the certificate the certificate the certificate file. Basically, the certificate will be given in a text file. You need to ask the certificate. Then you can import the certificate using the certificate file content. You need to create a certificate in Boom. And you can use the certificate in the data process PGP encryption here. 
let's see how we can import it and let, before importing let's uh, see how we can export certificate why do we need to export it okay uh, whenever you create a certificate let's say your boomi was generating boomi was uh, reading a file from uh, or the source application and that application reading the encrypted file reading an encrypted file and boomi want to decrypt the file and then process the file content maybe let's file content to be database in that case boomi has to decrypt your data it means boomi should have the private certificate it means private certificate having the private certificate means we, the boomi itself has to generate the private certificate because private certificate cannot be shared to anyone cannot shared by anyone in this case boomi has to decrypt the file it means nobody will share you the private certificate for decryption means we have to create a certificate and you have to give your public certificate to your source application so whenever the source application will be generating an encrypted file they will be using your public certificate and your public certificate will be imported into their server and then they will use this public certificate they will send the data in encrypted format and that file will be available to the boomi boomi would be receiving the file and the file will be decrypted using the same private certificate okay let's see how we can do a certificate export click on export a public certificate since it's a private certificate since a private certificate you need to export a public certificate okay you have a public certificate let's try to open how it looks like a public certificate click on you can see uh, it you can see the public key block means the public certificate always the default format when you are exporting public and private certificates the default format of the files will be extension will be asc okay next what other thing we can do is export the private key why do we need to export a private key so then the main reason why do we need to export a private key so let's say you have a multiple environment like your development and then qat and then pre production and then production okay your interface was running on production and because of some issue your interface was got failure maybe because of certificate it say let's say certificate was your process was experience an error called uh, uh, unable to decrypt the certificate in that case what we can do you need to replicate the same uh, issue in lower level It means in the pre production you need to replicate the same in that case is an every environment if you creating a certificate then it is not possible to replicate it so that is the reason you create in one level you maintain a uh, you maintain a symmetric across an environment let's say you have one certificate for the entire all your atoms uh, for the eid atoms all one certificate we can generate a certificate on one atom or one system and you can you can share it all across our machines and then even for production it will be same and most of the time what they will maintain they'll generate a certificate on production they'll configure it on uh, pre production so that if any issue occur in production you can replicate the same thing in pre production so that's the reason if you want it like let's say boomi if we have any public certificate we don't have any problem we can directly or uh, use the public and import the public certificate but if you have a private certificate we cannot directly use private certificate so that's the reason we generate a private certificate in production we we'll can't be the same production certificate in p prod if you wanted to do any kind of a uh, debugging purpose okay let's see export a private key when i say private key it uh, it will be private key will be downloaded let's uh, go here click on this one you can see private key block as well as you can see public key block as i told you initially there can be a possible where in one file it 
can have both your public key as well as a private key. But you give your name, you know, by looking at the name, you can see only for private certificate. But it has both private certificate as well as the public certificate. That is the reason here when you are encrypting here in the data process, when you select the encryption, it automatically encryption, when you select encryption, when you click on the search button, it automatically filter your certificate based on the public certificate. Even though it has the public and both private certificate, that is the reason still certificate was able. So here. Yeah. Let's uh, we as of now we already have both public certificate as well as a private certificate. Now let's try to uh, import a public certificate. Let's say that uh, let's assume that uh, this is this was a public certificate is given by one of your client and we wanted to encrypt the file with the certificate. Let's see how we can import a certificate. We can give it the same to represent and later we can create one more certificate. Boomi sample public. Okay, we just create this one. Inside the demo. Click on or oh, sorry, not cause it, it should be certificate. Click on create. So we have an option. Instead of you generate each other every time, even if you have a certificate, even we can import it. Click on import and select the which one you want to import it. I want to import public certificate. Let's view this file path. File path to keyboard. Click on finish. It loads the metadata about the certificate. What is the key ID? What's public certificate? Size for which user it has been generated and what is the fingerprint. As I told you that public certificate will be, the key pair will be having the same fingerprint. Let's create one more certificate. This time, we, can, we will import this private certificate. Import it. This time when you are importing a private certificate, you need to have the passphrase also. What was the passphrase? This you will uh, you, you'll be setting while generating the, this key pair. You need to remember this one. So this is the small letters everything they will give me. I have given while creating a certificate. Click on finish. Okay. Then now let's uh, see whether the this was the certificate, these two certificates was exported from the from this certificate here. Let's see whether because both certificates are belong to the same key pair, ideally it should be having the same fingerprint over here. Okay, you can see here. Yes, it's also same here. Same here. So why I'm showing this fingerprint is sometimes what happens. So the maybe the client, uh, maybe from our side, you may be encrypting with one public certificate, and client may maybe looking and he was trying to decrypt another certificate, then you will get an uh, error, unable to decrypt the certificate, unable to decrypt your file. It means you are both were not using the same key pair while encryption and decryption or, or technology, the, the techniques. In that case, how you can correlate with them, you can uh, check with the fingerprint of the private certificate what the client was using and you can check the uh, public certificate that you are using for encryption and you can even correlate this, whether these two certificates will, will be belong to the same key pair or not. Okay, now we have individual certificates here. Now let's uh, create one more certificate. Click on create. T 
even you can give the same passphrase as well. It's up to you. So let's say I will export the public certificate now. Okay, this time what I can uh, I can create one more. I can import the certificate that was just extracted. Let's click on import, select the public certificate, click on here, let's select moment test. This is the one I wanted to import it. Yes. Now let's try to see whether fingerprint will be same for this certificate. Control F. Control V. This is same. And from this certificate we actually exported the certificate. So ideally it should be also same. But these are the different certificate. Fingerprints will not match here means fingerprint will be in a queue for each and every certificate. Okay, now let's see how we can do the decryption here. Let's go back to our process. Let's close each and everything. Always you need to save. Let's stop this process and then this also close it. Okay, now let's go back here. Since uh, earlier we have only one certificate, you are not able to see whether what and all certificate basically filtering. Let's see, when you click on say, search here, it is showing almost all the certificates. Right, because it is showing a public certificate as well as a private certificate because this private certificate already have the key public key also these are the original certificate even it have it but let's uh, click on one more process let's create one more process to i think even i can directly show here instead of reading a file so can we decrypt the file here you can create one more process to do. We can create one more process so far easy to do question. So we'll be using the SFTP server to read a file. So using the same one here. I wanted to decrypt this is a file. Well, we already generated a file. I wanted to decrypt this file information. Go over file filter. and then give the directory information. Now we are ready to read a file. And then as soon as I read a file, I have to decrypt the file. So how we can decrypt the file? And again we use the data process for decrypting the file. And select the cost type as a PGP decryption and select decryption here and if you see here how many certificate was actually showing here and how it was showing here so for decryption certificate what exactly it will be looking it will look only the private certificate so all the public certificate got filtered out here you can see that in the only one private certificate we have this is the original certificate it means it has the key pairs since it has a key pair, both certificates will be there. Even these original certificates are showing. Other one we have the private certificate. Let's click on this certificate. And 
think we are not sure whether we can specify this one. Now let's go back. First let's run this process. Save it. Click on this. If you are specifying the right certificate, then you will be able to decrypt the file. PGP decryption completed with errors. Let's see what is the error. Let's see whether we read a proper file or not. Yes, we have a PGP file here. And then go back here. File decrypting. caused by array index out of bound of exception. Okay, let's stop this from what for the certificate is configured for it. Next certificate, let's provide this one also. file description. Let's uh, regenerate this file. Giving dot pgp and inside the boom in folder. And what are certificate that we are using this boom is sample. Only sample and then we'll see this file filter to contain. Star dot pgp. Let me delete if any pgp files are available here. No. Okay, now let's run. First generate a file here. Now let's run this process. By this time the file will be generated here. Why do you get in this error? Index out of all of them. Save and run this dimension. Okay. Let's try to keep the same thing here before we enter in here. Yeah. 
see the branch here. I wanted to see whether infection is being happening or not in the same particular. So for branch. The user is the same certificate and then I identify and did not encounter this type of error. Uh, this was giving some problem. Okay, we will try to give another certificate here. Yeah. Maybe because of the same password we given and was given. Let's try that one. Yes, we will delete the other certificate. We have specified each and every day, only the one that is called for this. Still we are getting same error, then I will try to delete these certificates. Let me keep only one certificate, because this is a certificate that I have and delete one more certificate. Let's configure the certificate back to only one certificate it has. So once we delete any of the components that is already have a reference as will be highlighted in the red color here. If this still it is not running, let's try let's try to do in your accounts. Try to do in your accounts if it is giving any error or not. Because earlier uh, the account what I tried, we did not give any error. But nothing is here, we are specifying the right certificate here. Ideally we should get an error when you are specifying a different certificate, should get an error. Cannot able to decrypt it. But we are getting the right uh, right certificate here. I think nothing is wrong here. Maybe sometimes there might be a problems with uh, the environment will be there. This is the way an atom got installed. If you want to see any uh, want to see any container logs, you can just go the installation directly and then go atom. And if you any errors, default errors will be there will be there in the container logs. Go for end, item for all data. Let me save this. And let's go for We will stop this process and run once again. We will run again another. Container log also not updated. 
Not exactly what getting the data here, but it's what data we are getting. We are getting correct here. DG, DC, TGP version 1.45. try on your accounts if still you are getting any issues and uh, let me know I'll just uh, uh, google it uh, on this error and if it is not working for your run uh, just uh, send me a uh, note so I'll just google it for this error what why you are getting this error In this sometimes if you google will give this kind of uh, uh, platform related errors because you are not able to identify what exactly the array index out of one of exception because you are not at all sending array any more than more than one file or something. We are sending only one file, one content and we are trying to retrieve the data here. And the most most commonly thing what we use in the PGP encryption is whenever the commonly we will encrypt the file. If you wanted to encrypt a file, you need to have a public certificate. So that that means you have you have to ask the public certificate from your client. In case if you wanted to in, uh, decrypt your certificate in your process, uh, then you need to, means Boomi has to generate a private certificate uh, key pair and for, the, for encrypting the data and providing it to you, you need to provide your public certificate to the client. So you will be have, you'll be conveying the private certificate with the decryption in your process. So as soon as file is received, you can able to decrypt it. So something like similarly here. But ideally this is this should work. I don't know what exactly the issue is first. I did not encounter this issue earlier. So let's try on your end. Still if you are also getting the same errors, then we can uh, try to uh, debug into this one. Okay, then if you have any doubts, else we can uh, close the session today.